Good morning, and welcome to Jackson used to love eating cheese sticks. Now he likes to run around with them in his mouth. Right, buddy? What are you doing with that cheese stick? Are you going to eat it? Fill it. You want to fill it? All right, fill it with some ice. Yay! <laughs> You're doing it. Gotta come out all the way. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so I am gonna show you how I make my coffee. A few people were asking in the comments the last time that I made it, they were like, How do you make your coffee? It's, what what's going on? Throw it. What is? Throw it. I don't want you to throw it. <laughs> so I don't know why he wants to throw stuff. Um, my coffee isn't super exciting. It's kind of boring, but I'll show you how I make it anyway. So I start out with a very full cup of ice in my turvis. This one is my Mickey Mouse turvis. And then I put one of these in my little coffee machine here. Um, the, I feel like the blonde coffee tastes less like bitter than the regular Starbucks coffee. It's all heated up. That's what these are. And then I push the button for a bit. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, thank you. Have you have a piece of ice. You want to put it in your cup? All okay, right. Good job. And then I just push the button for a big cup, fill up my cup of ice with coffee. Uh oh. Ooh, steamy. Yeah. I don't know. He just put a piece of ice on my foot. <laughs> no. I just kind of spin it around. No more, buddy. No, no, no. It all has coffee on it. It all has coffee. You can't have it now. No, buddy. Now it's hot. It is hot. That that ice is cold, though. Cold. Cold. Look at you making coffee. Yeah. When are your hands cold now? You want to go dry them off on the towel? Let's go dry them off on the towel. All right, mine's done, though. So this is what it looks like. Here, let me get my. So it's about this full with coffee, mm -hmm. and then I fill the rest with my almond milk. And I use my uh, what is this? Puppy. Sweetened vanilla almond milk. Puppy. Put it out there. Puppy. You did it. You want to hold the milk? You can hold it. Now you've made a macchiato. Is that what this is? Well, until you stir it. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> right? Ma I mean, no, it's a latte. It's a nice latte. Macchiato is milk first. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there's. This is what I have every morning. Nice work. Thanks. Oh, milk. It is milk. You gonna put it away? Yes. Oh, mommy. Let's put it away. Okay. Where does it go? Put it in there. Good job, buddy. Now close the refrigerator. You did it. Good job, bud. Thank you for helping, milk. mommy. Milk. milk. High five. Away. High five. You put the milk away. High five. Okay. Thanks, buddy. All right. My coffee is pretty amazing, but I am going to spend this morning. Uh, I got to do some cleaning. I need to unload the dishwasher. Very exciting. There's all of his spoons that he loves to take out and throw everywhere. And then I'm gonna clean up these dishes and some dinner from last night. But that's what I'm gonna do right now. Buddy, where'd you go? Oh no, you're getting your spoons. No. Can I please have that? Are you putting it back? Oh, thank you. That was very nice of you. I'll do it though, buddy. I'll do it. 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 Thank you. Good job for helping though. I appreciate it. Jackson, who's this? <laughs> what does D stand for? Door. Door, that's right. Tell me who this is, though. We worked on this this morning. Who's this? A fake. That's who? A fake. Spike, that's right. Oh. All right, so it is a little bit later on, and uh, it's, it's dinner time now, <laughs> so I'm making dinner. I am making Jackson some chicken. I'm making some chicken for us. I'm also making him some uh, mashed potatoes. But for dinner for us, I decided I really wanted to try that TikTok pasta. So I'm still trying to figure out how to wear my glasses with these masks. So there's this pasta that people were making on TikTok and it went like, you know, it was everybody was doing it. It was very like a popular dish. And uh, so I figured why not try it 
and see if it's like worth the hype. Everybody said it was so good. So we're gonna make the tomato and feta cheese pasta. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it was like all over the internet. Um, it sounds like it's gonna be very good, but it's literally like three ingredients. It's the feta cheese, the tomatoes, and then um, olive oil and I guess the pasta. So it seems like it's too, too good to be true. Like it's too simple. So, but let's try it. Let's make it for dinner tonight and let's see what, let's see what it tastes like. So Jen put on her apron because she's cooking. Oh yeah. And Jackson said another one. And so he wanted to put on his apron. Say everyone can cook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just went out on a walk, so he's a little sweaty right now. How was it? Did you find some rocks? Yeah. yeah. You did? How many? We wanted to get some of that vitamin D in from the sun. <laughs> One, two, three. How many rocks did you find? One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Good job. Tomatoes. 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 I'm That's making nice. your chicken and your, your mashed potatoes, buddy. Ooh, chicken and mashed potatoes. Yeah. I haven't started the TikTok pasta yet. Ooh. I want to do this first and then I'll show you guys the pasta. So my chicken is done. My mashed potatoes are done. These are delicious, by the way. I used, uh, what are these? Just like the, the bigger red potatoes. And then I used some cream cheese and some butter and they are just so creamy and so delicious. So I hope Jackson likes these. He's not always the biggest fan of mashed potatoes. So we will see at dinner time what he thinks of them. He'll be the, the true judge. I know that I'll like them. I know that Tim will like them, but Jackson, not so sure. So now I'm gonna make that TikTok pasta. Let's get started. So like I said, it's a very simple recipe. We've got one pint of sweet grape tomatoes. Um, the actual recipe called for two of these. So because I only have one, I'm going to use half of the amount of feta because this is the amount of feta that you need for two pints of tomatoes. So this is seven ounces. I'm going to cut this brick in half and then we're going to just roast this, this stuff up and make our sauce. I've got my tomatoes. Oh, I did add some crushed garlic. That was not part of the recipe, but I just kind of felt like it might be needed. So Sorry, I didn't follow the recipe exactly. I added three cloves of crushed garlic and I just kind of tossed everything in about a quarter cup of olive oil with some salt and pepper. As I was seasoning it with the salt, I was like, oh shoot, I'm adding feta, which is like a salty cheese. So this might be too salty. I wish I hadn't added the salt. So if you're making this, don't, maybe don't do the salt. <laughs> so I just, it was just like, like a muscle memory, you know, like salt and pepper. So um, now that I've done that, I'm going to add my feta to this baking sheet. Another thing that's gonna be kind of interesting about this is that we don't have a working oven. A lot of you guys probably already know that, but I got this little toaster oven, so I'm gonna to try to make it in the toaster oven and see if it's something that can be made in a toaster oven. So we shall see. I did set the temperature for 50 degrees lower in the toaster oven because it's such like a small cooking apparatus. They always say to like lower your temperature because it's so close to the heating element on both sides. So I set it to 350. I'm going to cook it for 30 minutes instead of 40 minutes because the recipe said 30 to 40. So I'm going to, I'm going to check everything at 30 minutes, but let's, let's put this feta on here and get this in the oven. So you just put your little feta right in the center and then I'm going to add just a little bit more um, olive oil to the top. And then I'm just going to get this in the oven and, and we're going to get this cooking for 30 minutes. Our feta and tomatoes have been cooking for about 15 minutes. They're about halfway done. So now I'm starting to boil my water for my pasta. We will be using this kind of pasta, this Fusilli Corti Bucati. Um, it looks really cute. It looks like little telephone cords. So this should be fun. This cooks for about nine minutes. And I think they were saying in the recipes that I read to use this kind of pasta because it really holds the sauce. So you really get a lot of sauce in each bite. I also cooked up another chicken breast when I was cooking up Jackson's dinner, which is right here. So a lot of the reviews that I read of this pasta was saying that it wasn't a true like main course dish, that it was more of a side dish that should be served along with like some kind of protein. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it as a side served with this chicken. And I think it should hopefully be delicious. So we'll see in about like 15-ish minutes. What is that? Is that your cupcake? This is pasta. pasta. What does it look like? Pasta. It looks like pasta? We've never had this kind before. I made half of the um, the bag of pasta. Oh, thank you for the huggy, buddy. I made half of this, because um, again, we're just going to do it as like a side. 
and it's gonna cook for like nine minutes. I have it timed out perfectly. That never happens. I never am able to do the timing exactly right, but as soon as the pasta is done, the sauce will be done. You can mix it all together. Very exciting. So what is parenting? Parenting is wiping the pepper off of the chicken that we just cooked because Jackson doesn't like pepper now. All right, have some potatoes. Good night, Moon. We yeah. also had to bribe him <laughs> with the Good Night Moon digital book in order to get him to eat his potatoes and chicken. But it's delicious, bud, right? He just found another mouse. Oh, you did? Where was it? It was in the, the last page. I don't know, he just barely touched it. And he's like, there it is. See, the chicken is yummy, buddy. Just oh, no, had... the cat's asleep. All right, well, our dinner is done now, so I'm gonna get that ready while Ooh, you're yummy. finding mice, okay? So the only thing that I'm kind of not sure what to do is you're supposed to mix it in the pot that you use in the oven, right? I didn't have a pot that was like small enough to fit in this toaster oven, so now I have to dump everything in another container and mix it up in that, and I don't know I what- think you can use the one that you use the pasta for, because it's also said to add some of the pasta juice, like some of the water that you use. Yeah, but then what do I do with the pasta? You dump the water out and you save a cup of it. Oh, okay, right, gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. Let me get everything set up and then I'll show you guys. So my pasta is drained. I have my dish that I cooked my pasta in. I saved about a half a cup of the pasta water and I'm gonna dump all of this. I think I'm gonna take the garlic out. I think it just cooking with the garlic was enough flavoring. So I'm gonna take my little, you can kind of see them over here. I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna dump everything in this pot and then I'm gonna mix it all up and let's see what we got. I feel like my tomatoes may not have been like bursted enough. Hmm. I mean, it smells really, really good. Yeah, um, okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of my reserved cooking water in. Okay, I think that's good. And now, sorry, I feel like you guys couldn't really see what I was doing, but there it is. Now I'm going to put it, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of basil, some fresh basil that I just cut into like small kind of slivery pieces. And I think that's it. I'm just gonna put this over our pasta served with our chicken and then let's try it let's see if this uh tiktok recipe is it doesn't look very good it smells good but let's see if it's worth the hype and there's a look at the plated pasta i'm gonna put a couple of pieces of chicken to go with and that is dinner uh, the pasta honestly looks delicious very excited to try this I probably could have put a little bit more of the reserved like pasta cooking water in there just to make it a little bit creamier. So there's a really good look at the pasta. I mean, it looks delicious. I mean, it was so easy to make. It was one of those like set it and forget it meals. It's a, uh, it's kind of magical outside tonight. It feels so nice. It's like nice. a nice breeze going. It's yeah. 84 degrees, but it's like a, like a tropical 84 degrees. It feels great. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. That's really good. I like the, like the pasta has an, a different flavor to it. It's like very thick. Yeah. It's so, I think the pasta like really makes it. Oh yeah. I also think that I probably could have used a little bit more of the water, the cooking water to make it, okay. cause it was a teeny bit gritty. Cause yeah. it's feta, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could have been like a teeny bit more um, creamy, creamier if I had used more water. I don't know, I kind of like it. I, I loved it. I already ate mine, it was so good. And it was so easy. You know what this would be good with? What? A little bit of Parmesan on it too. Oh yeah? Yeah. It already has so much cheese. I it's know. literally only cheese. <laughs> but I think it would be even better. I honestly really, really enjoyed the fresh basil and the garlic in there too. Oh yeah. It just gives it like this nice little, like a bright flavor when you hit like mm. a piece of that basil. Fresh. I think the word you're looking for is fresh. <laughs> I always make fun of him for saying fresh too much. But I think the basil was like just a really nice addition. Yeah. I don't know, I love it. I'll for sure be making this again. It was so incredibly easy. You know what I think it also needs? What? Or what would be really good is if you did the melted feta 
And then did crumbled feta on top, like unmelted. Oh, ah, okay. I could have done that. Yeah. Dang. That would be good. I saw another recipe where they put some lemon zest in it. Okay, that could be good too. It sounded like it would be really nice. I just didn't have any lemon zest or lemon juice. But, uh... I can see lemon juice being good. So what do you think? Yeah, I would eat it again. Thumbs up? Yeah. And I think you're right. I think that the, the recipe that I saw was right, that it's more of a side dish than like a main course. Mm-hmm. So it's just a little bit too powerful of a flavor to be like the main course, I think. But as a side dish, love it. Yeah. And then I made some extra pasta for Jackson. What do you think? You like it? Is it cool? It looks like a telephone cord, huh? Another one. Another one? Good job. <laughs> Thumbs up from the big buddy. So mommy went outside to take her mask off for a minute. So now, we're gonna show you all what we do okay. when mommy's outside. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Right here. Do it. We do it like this. Like this. Right? Like this, Jackson. Grandma. There's a camera. You wanna show them what we do when mommy's outside? Come over here. Oh, Yeah, we put our butts on the door. And we do a little dance like this. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> what did you find? Oh, you have your bread and your pizza and your cupcakes. You know what's something I think we're gonna have to do, buddy? I think because we love our cupcakes so much, what do you think if we make cupcakes one day? You wanna make cupcakes? You wanna make your own cupcakes? <laughs> Did you put a cupcakes on top of your pizza? Jackson, you look so proud of yourself. Whoa. Oh, yeah, you broke it because you threw it. But what do you think? Should we make our own cupcakes one day? I feel like that's something you'd really like. Jackson, you want to do that? Or are you trying to find it? Yeah, okay. We're going to make cupcakes one day, me and you, buddy. It'll be really fun. We can make pink ones, just like your pink one. What do you think? Both ones. Both ones? You want to do pink and yellow and blue? Yeah. Yeah? Is that a cupcake on top of your tomato? Wow. Oh, yeah? You did it, buddy. How many? Do you want to count? One. Two, not the one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Go, go, go. What? Go, 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 go. You go, go, go. Okay, I'm gonna go hide. I'm gonna hide and you count to three, okay? One, two, three. Okay, here I go. I found you, buddy. Up. Up. So this is what we do before bedtime. Well, actually, before bath time. Try to get, like, really, really uh, exercise. Get all the exercise in. Whoa. Go, go, go. Where are you going, buddy? Jaxie, where are you going? Okay, I'm hiding. Come find me. Come find me. Hiding. What? You ran right past me, buddy. You ran right past me. What are we saying? Is it night, night time? Why is daddy all wet? Because somebody got soap in their eyes. Oh no, was it Jackson? And then I said, let me wash it out really quick. So I washed <laughs> it out and then he slammed his face into my chest. Oh no, buddy, are you okay? Because that's what he does whenever he yeah. doesn't like something in the bathtub. He rubs his face on my shirt. <laughs> he does the same thing to me. I think he just knows that we like aren't supposed to be the ones getting wet. And yeah. he's like, I'll show you. You so tired tonight, buddy? Jaxie. Say, mommy, me and mommy were running around a lot before bath. Yeah. Is so that a yawn? I think no. we're very tired. Want to show everybody your pajamas of the day? What you, the who's on your pajamas? Pajamas of the day. Oh. Hey. Ew. Who's hey. on your pajamas, buddy? Hey. Who's, who's on this? your pajamas? Thank you. What? Thank you. What? Thank you. What is it? That's you. Oh. <laughs> is it a picture of you? You're saying that's you? 
Yeah. It's you, buddy. You say who's it's on, me. Who's on your pajamas? Who is on your pajamas? Yeah. Mickey. Mickey. Good job, bud. Ooh, buddy. What's this? Star. Well, what's next to the star? Star. It's a hot, uh, hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. Can you hot say dog. what are the what are the magic words to make Mickey dog. Mouse's clubhouse appear? What do we say? Do we say Miska? Muska? Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Can you say it? It. Can you say Miska uh, Muska? Misa, Misa, Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> That was cute. Buddy, you're the cutest little baby. You want to turn all the lights off because it's bedtime? Wow, nice. thank you, buddy. I don't know what I would do without you. Without you, start. all the lights would be on all the time. Good on saving energy, buddy. Yeah. No, we don't need to do another one, buddy, because I'll, I'll turn it off for you. Say night night. I love right. you very much, buddy. Let's go to bed. Buddy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need one more hug. Okay, say night night. So Jackson is now asleep. I am like into American Horror Story now, so I like I need to start watching it again. <laughs> Just the way it is. I think I'm on episode four now or three. You are. Okay, so I watched up to episode five. Episode six is the like mid season finale because it's okay. like two seasons in one. Um, so episode five was horrible. Okay. So I'm not gonna watch it again with you. All right. But I will watch episode six with you. All right. Whenever that, whenever you get to that. Okay. Got to finish up episode four, then mm -hmm. I'll watch the horrible one. And then I'll. Then I think. We'll... I think what it is is like now that I'm a mom. Even before this, this kind of stuff just really was like not easy to watch. But now, especially when they anything with a baby, I'm just like I can't. Don't do that. Like get that off my TV. And I hope that episode six doesn't have anything, any weird baby stuff. Okay. Because I won't like that either. So that's my story. I just wanted you to know. All right, I'm going to watch American <laughs> Horror Story now. Okay. All right, we did it. We watched the show. We did. I got to say, a little disappointed. Yeah, it wasn't a very exciting ending. No, I kind of thought, like, I, I just thought it, it ended weirdly because it ended on, like, a totally different sort of tone than it started. Right. And then it also sort of, like, led into something else. They almost, like, hinted, like, oh, there's more to this story. And then they're like, hey, just kidding, it's over. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't enjoy the ending. I wasn't a huge fan. I feel like uh, as American Horror Story has kind of gone on, I've liked it less and less. Right. Uh, although I did really like 1984. 84 was really good. Yeah, I thought that was really good. But I, I guess I'm excited to see whatever next week is going to be. Okay, really quick. This is maybe a spoiler, so I will leave a, a timestamp here. Go to this if you don't want to be spoiled. Um, this might not even be true, though. It's right. just a... If you don't want to hear any speculation about the show that could be true, go to this timestamp. Okay, but I think we were hanging out with Peter and Kitra, and one of them said it would be cool if the next the next part of the double feature was whatever Harry was writing. Right. So we'll see if that ha if that's like what happens. But it is very strange how it's totally different. Right. Like it's two totally different stories. It seems. But I guess that's what like a double feature is. Yeah. So I don't know. I just thought it was strange. It was a little bit strange. But I also wanted to mention that Tim crushed all of my dreams. How so? When I was talking about the cupcakes, I said, oh, I want to make cupcakes with Jackson because we were talking about... Oh, I didn't about... mean to crush your dreams. <laughs> I just totally forgot that we... I don't know why I keep forgetting that we don't have an oven. In my mind, I'm like, we can totally make cupcakes. Let's just make a, a whole cake. <laughs> I'm sure there are like cupcake tins that you could use in a toaster oven. We just don't have them. Yeah, I might. I don't know. Maybe we'll make cookies. And we'll we just make, make a couple at a like time in the toaster three, oven. Three cookies at a time. <laughs> There's three of us. It's true. It's perfect. So um, we'll probably do that instead of the cupcakes until we get our oven, which is coming at the end of October. We will have Which one. is ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah, our, our oven is coming at the end of October. But some people left comments too. They were like, oh, I same. Like I ordered some new appliances and I'm not going to get them for like three months. So I think it's just a thing. Pretty wild. Yeah, I'll be happy to get the oven, though. Yeah. So, I don't know. All in all, it was a good day. Dinner was delicious. We had fun playing with Jackson. Yeah. I am still very much stir-crazy. Oh, no. I would like to go somewhere, <laughs> but I know that I'm just, I'm waiting it out. Soon. I mean, we're almost done. We are almost done. Yeah, so, like, soon. Soon. Yeah. So, with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Yeah.